Hey, what's up, what's up? This is a huge tutorial with Bells of Cringy. Alright, so we're gonna start by going into your material list, which one, whichever one you wanna, like, modify. There's multiple ways of doing this, but I'm gonna just do, like, the very simple way. The one with, like, where you already had a huge shift for it. Like, uh, it, for me, I'm gonna be doing a body texture. For you, it could be, like, eyes, hair, whatever. It's all the same. It's just apply whatever you see uh you need usually poyomi pro or poyomi tune to do this uh, i don't know for any of the other shaders but for this uh it's a very quick and easy way of actually doing a hue shift it's uh it's a little bit annoying to do but here we are so if you just want like a simple hue shift for your skin you can always just do like the color adjust right here make sure that you have the hue shift right here and you do animated when lock. This is important because once we do the animation, if it's not there, the hue just won't work. Like as in, so just to show you guys it works, like for the skin, here's the hue. But we, for me, as I said, I want to do the butterflies, not the skin. So I'm going to remove that. And for the emission, I have two emission masks. So I'm going to do it for both of them. So here you're gonna find where it says enable hue shift. We're gonna do a check mark. Right click where it says hue shift. Animate when locked. And then now you're gonna see like the electricity, I believe for me will change color. You can see it's very, um, you can't really see it that much, but that's fine. Then I'm gonna go in the other one, do enable hue shift. That one's gonna be much more visible for you guys. Like if I want to drag so you see like the butterflies are changing color here so if you want like more of a color specific specific you can kind of play with the colors right here and the alpha colors like, oops not that one uh, for me I think it's a mask right emission and eh, whatsoever it's like usually if it's a decal you want to fuck with the decal you can also Photoshop it but here like I'm pretty sure it's because of my emission map is purple this is purple, so let's be check. Yeah, okay, like you can change the initial color if you want. I'm going to leave it purple uh, right here. So the next step is to create the animation. Me, I just created a folder called animation. You can put it wherever you want. It doesn't. It, just, it really doesn't matter. So you just need to have make sure that these steps are done. And then what I like to do is do Control-D on my main avatar. And then take the main avatar, put it invisible, and then select the copied one. This is like not the most important, but it's just sometimes recording the animation breaks your avatar, so it's just better to have it so you don't have to, you know, re-import all your your stuff. Um, so whatsoever. Uh, so to continue with that, we would go into. I don't have an animation here for some reason. So I'm going to add it, three dots, uh, and then add a tab, animation. So we, we're going to have an animation. So when you click on your, for me, it's going to be Quinn 1, my copy. It says begin, a, uh, begin an animation. Um, now it's going to save in that animation folder I, I've told you guys I created exactly for that. You can name the animation file whatever you want. Me, I'm going to name this... Uh, Tattoo. No, I'll just call it what it is. It's the butter, butterfly storm. Hue zero, because that's gonna be my zero value. Uh, so it's just for me to be more recognizable whenever I search for it. Uh, so I'm gonna do save. So now the next steps are very important. You have to click the red button right here for recording. So now you're going to see a, a character going like this. So that's fine. That means it's recording per perfectly fine. So everything you do here uh, is recorded. So you want to make sure that whatever you're doing is only the thing you want to do. Like if you're putting something invisible, that's going to record that you're putting something invisible. So you want to do it beforehand if you, you, you want to have more visibility on what you're doing. So me, I'm just going to go and wear my emission shift. Like, I'm just going to move it. Like, you see, now it appeared here. I'm going to put the value as zero, uh, as I said earlier, because that's the value I want. And then I'm going to do that for the other one, too. And so that should be it for this animation for the hue. 
So that now we're gonna have the purple, and now we're gonna go here. I'm gonna just copy this, like just Control C, press the top, Control C, uh, create a new animation. I'm gonna take this one again. I'm just gonna call it one. It's just let's so say you can name it whatever you want. I'm just putting one just to be clean. Uh, I'm gonna do Control C, uh, do the animation recording because I'm kind of OCD like that. I'm gonna put the other one on one. And this one on one. You want to make sure all your value are one. Like you can actually just manually uh, type the one if you want. But I just like doing it like that. So uh, there's no difference between making a one here, or putting one here, or just sliding it to one. Uh, so now we're going to stop the... We're done with the recording. Now that's the fun part that is uh, upcoming. We're going to delete this one because as I said, we were just doing it for the recordings. Now, if you want to double check your recordings are good, you can just double check. You have zero, zero, and one, one. So now they should be Gucci. Uh, so what we want to do now is to go on our FX layer. Uh, where's my FX? So you can go on your, <clears throat> sorry. You can go on, <clears throat> my God, my voice is dying in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so you, you can click on your character name in the hierarchy and find your FX layer by clicking on it. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go on the FX layer by going in the animator tab in the top of your character. So now you, that's where like is the fun start. So you can see I have a lot of things here that none of this matters because we're creating a new one. We wanna create a new float menu. So I just create the float menu. Uh, you're gonna see you can't scroll down. It's just because you have to choose a name. Uh, me, I'm just going to call it uh, B.S. Hue for Butterfly Storm Hue. <laughs> That's it. That's simple. So now we have a Butterfly Storm Hue. Uh, and then we're going to do... Oops, no. <laughs> uh, layers. We're going to create... Uh, you can name this whatever you want to. But we're going to call it... Me, I'm just going to sake of being clean butterfly hue so bs hue and then because this is a float uh so you the weight you always want this to be at one just saying i had a, a lot of time i forget to do that step and it fucks me up <laughs> all right so now all we want to do is i believe it blend tree yeah, it's a blend tree. If I remember properly. I'll be honest, sometimes I forget this shit. I'm gonna sh use a cheat sheet real fast. Fuck you, it's my video. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Right? <laughs> hey, okay, I was right. It's a blend tree. It is a blend tree. Okay. From new blend tree. So you just right click. And create new state from a form new blend tree. Once you have your blend tree, you just double click it. It's going to bring you here. You click it. It's going to change this here. Make sure that the parameters here, when, once you click on this, you want to make sure you click on this and choose whichever float menu you created. I mean, it's going to be BSU. It's very important. So now BSU is uh, related to that. We're going to do plus. We're going to do add new motion. Add new motion twice. You should see this thing appearing. It's fine. And then you remember these uh, animation we created. Now we're gonna I mean it's gonna be butterfly storm whatever. Yeah, butterfly storm hue zero. So I'm gonna select like my zero for me. As I said, you can name it whatever. Um, but just for my sake, I do that like that. And then I'm gonna put butterfly storm hue one. And there you go. You're done with this part. So now we have to add this menu. To our parameters which again we're gonna go on our character go down uh, parameters so our parameters is right here now we're gonna go at the top do parameters add once we add we're gonna remove this menu and uh, I called it BSQ this is very important this is where like punctuation counts the most uh, you have to make sure you make it a float menu. Just leave it like that. 
and this is very important it needs to match your parameter your parameter needs to match your uh, like menu parameter if you don't this is not gonna work so now that this is out of the way um you have to add this to which menu which where, where do i want to add that uh fun color maybe what, what's in color uh so color menu i have hair and shirt sure i'm gonna add this here you can put it whatever you want i'm just gonna put it here i'm gonna call it uh skin hue i guess no tattoo hue because i'm cool like that like it really doesn't matter you can name it whatever you want uh, then you have to make sure that you choose a radial puppet and once this is done uh, you go here choose bs hue float and once this is done we're done this is how you add a uh hue shift now all you need to do is go here and press your build and publish Uh, if it wants to build and publish, of course. Do I have an issue? No, okay. Just my computer being very slow for some reason. Might take a little bit. Well, yeah, if I was a little bit too fast, you can always pause the video, you know, look at I was doing a little bit slower. I know I'm a little bit fast at doing it. I've been doing it for a little while. Not, I'm not the best at doing everything, but uh, this is how you brute force through it. <laughs> and that should be complete now, huh? I can't always open VR chat in the meantime, so it's already done, so we don't wait for that. Uh, this, where's my VR chat? Launch in non VR. Wow, is, people are gonna think I'm sick. Non VR? Disgusting. I think it's uh, done the publishing. Yeah, call it like that. Just this upload. I'll be honest, I don't even remember how to play in the desktop mode anymore. Uh, let's see if I can remember. Can I go the corner or something? Yeah, okay. Let's do this. Okay. Change into Metal Queen V2. I think it's control. Yeah, okay, there you go. And then we would go. I put them in color, right? Tattoo hue. Uh, you see now it changes the hue. So we successfully added a hue to the tattoos. Uh, this was my easy and simple tutorial on how to do a hue. Thank you for watching, and you have a good day.